So, good morning. I'm going to show you some of the basics in terms of the routine sampling that we do for the fish when we do a biological sampling. And in particular, we'll focus on the removal of the otolus, which you will later use for the aging. So I'm going to uh, be using two different fish species. I'm going to start with this big fellow here, which is an Atlantic cod. Uh, it's not one of the fish that you are interested in doing, but it's got a, an advantage in that the otoliths are quite large. So I'll do this one first, and then I'll switch to a much smaller char and show you how to remove it. So the first thing you do is you go and you uh, take a length. Here, I'm going to use a measuring board and simply put the snout up against the end of the, uh, the board. And then there's two me length measurements we normally take. One is the so-called fork length, which in your fish will probably be more accentuated. It will be the center point here. So in this case, this would be a 72.6 um, centimeter cod. And then total length, where you take the, the maximum length to the end of the fin. And here you can see it takes it right through to 74.3. So we just get a weight measurement. And we usually just use a spring-loaded balance like this. Hook it up through the operculum. And just get a, a weight like this. Easy stuff. So that won't take long. The next stage, though, is to actually um, cut the head. So to start with, you're going to take your fish and look for the landmarks that you'll be using. The first landmark is the gill flap, the operculum, the one that opens. And then towards the eye side, about halfway to the eyes, there's another bone underneath that does not open up, and it's called the preoperculum. And the edge of that is a reference point to where the brain lies. And the brain will usually lie just straight above it and forward. And that is going to be your key. You want to aim for the brain. So we'll take the knife. And for this particular cod, I'm going to show you one cut, uh, the diagonal cut, basically to cut the top off the skull so we can see the brain. Uh, for the char, we're going to use a slightly different approach. So there's the edge of the eye. I'm going to start the cut just behind the eye, and you can hear the, the bone. And then you basically grab the fish, and snap it like this, and now you can see the brain. So the brain is this very, this white mass right here, and the spinal cord goes down and around. There's the brain and the spinal cord going down. So once you find the brain, the otolus that you're interested in, um, there's actually three pairs, but the pair that you're interested in is going to lie underneath the rear part of the brain in a little pocket. It's not attached. So you just take the forceps in, and you'll very often pull out these transparent tubes, and that's the inner rear canal. If you have that, you know you're in the right place. So right now, I can see one of these otoliths in here. So I'll see if I can get pointing the forceps at it right now. You can see the white of the otolith. And I'm just going to see if I can see. It's okay in the camera. Okay, good, yeah, thanks. Okay, thank Perfect. you. Perfect. <laughs> so again, the brain is here, spinal cord going down, and there's the white of the otolith, and it's not attached. So I'm just going to put the forceps in, and there's the otolith. Very easy. Cod are very easy for this. It's an easy way to start. And typically what I will do, I'll just put this, put it right here, 
so I, I typically put it right on my hand so I don't lose it because the, the char odalis will be much smaller. Uh, you can always take your finger and just rub the tissue off. Um, this one's very clean, sometimes it'll be on, but you don't have to worry about it. So that's one. Now we're going to go to the other side, and because there's always two of them. And keep in mind, this odalith is never attached to anything. It's always by it, by itself. And I actually haven't cut that part of the skull off. It is right there. And there's the other odalith. So we have two odaliths right here. And as I say, these are, these are large as odaliths go. And, um, but they are, they're ready to go. These are chunks of rock. Um, they are very tough. You don't have to worry about uh, breaking them unless you smash them with a hammer. So clean the tissue off. And uh, we usually put them into a paper envelope or a vial and you're ready to go. So that's it for the cod. Now we'll tackle something that's a little more challenging. We'll go to a char. Let's just look at the landmarks right here. This is the edge of the gill flap. So we can pull that up. There's the preoperculum. This black mark here, again, there's no opening right there. But for the char in particular, this is going to be very important in terms of where you want to actually cut. So there's two approaches you can apply. One is the one that we just did. You can take the fish in the eye sockets, take your knife right behind the eye, and cut the top off the skull. You don't want to cut too deep. You just want to take the top off of the skull and you'll feel the knife biting into the bone. And then you can pull it apart and right now You can take the fish in the eye sockets, take your knife right behind the eye, and cut the top off the skull. You don't want to cut too deep. You just want to take the top off of the skull, and you'll feel the knife biting into the bone. And then you can pull it apart, and right now, you can see the white, the only white that's there. It's got it's got some uh, blood on it, but it's, uh, otherwise that's the brain. If you find the brain, you're in the right place. Then it's just a matter of finding the otolith. So again, you're going to be at the rear part of the brain. Uh, you probably will not see them. So what you normally do is you put the otolith, your, your forceps in, to the side at the back, fairly far down, and you wait until you're You basically leave the forceps open, you push it down, you squeeze, you pull up, and you see what you have. So when I did that first squeeze, right here, I have an otolith. Okay, so it's right there, much smaller than the, the cod otolith, as you can see, but it, it was very easy and quick to pull it out. So you're basically doing it by location. You're not seeing where you're pulling it out. So let me go for the other side right now. So the back side of the brain. I push the forceps in as far as I can. Squeeze, pull up. And I have tissue there. And I have no less than that, so I do it again. And you keep going until you get your other odoloth. Keep in mind, keep in mind that you only need one for the aging. So if you get one, you are ahead of the game. And it is not unusual to not find the other one. They don't vaporize, they just are hard to, to find. 
and especially once you start stirring up the brain, it becomes harder and harder to find it because they're no longer in the place you want. I'm now using very fine forceps. And I just heard a little clip and when you touch it, it's got this grinding sound that's unlike bone. So I just grab tissue, put it on my finger, and rub it around and see if I have it. If this is a frozen fish, so it, uh, the, the brain tends to get very mangled. And I can see the oloth here. Just having trouble grabbing it. So if you don't get it in the first run, keep in mind it probably got pushed to the side. You don't want to break off any of the skull. It's not attached. It's just lying there in the, in the fluid, in that inner ear canal. And I am not getting it. Oop. There we go. Okay, there's our two otoliths. They're small. This is about as tough as it'll get for what you're going to do. Once you've done a few, you get, uh, you get much faster at it. It's been a while since I've tackled the char. Again, while it's fresh, pull the tissue off, and then you can put it right into a paper envelope or into a vial. If you put it into a vial, let it dry before uh, you seal off the vial. By the eye socket, I will identify the gill flap right there. There's the preoperculum, that black line. Again, it's not open. This time, I'm going to make a vertical cut right in line with the preoperculum, just until I cut through the skull. Snap it, and you can see the white of the brain right there. So then it becomes a matter of putting your forceps in and getting it. Now in this case, do you see how the, the, the white tissue there is quite small? I think I've got the spinal cord rather than the brain. I'm probably cut a little too far back, so I'm going to have to cut again. And a second cut is usually a bad idea because things get really scrambled around. So you can see again the, the brain is there, and actually there's the main part of the brain right here. See the white tissue? Okay, so put my forceps in right to the bottom, pull it out. I use the forceps just to press to see if there's oloth in the tissue that I pull out. Oh, I can feel it. here. It's hard to see against my glove. So it's right there. This one's a little bit bigger. You can see it's, uh, it's quite pale in color. So I'm going to move that over here and we'll go for the other side now.
So I'm pushing my forceps all the way into the bottom of that brain cavity. And I'm not trying to puncture anything. I'm just pushing it down to the bottom and grabbing tissue and pulling up. Okay, so I can see some tissue coming up here, and there's the other otolith. Small, but there. And that's it. Two different approaches. Generally with the bigger fish, it's, uh, I find the slanted cut of the, just to expose the, the brain is the best way to do it, because then you can see the whole length of the brain. If um, but with a smaller fish, the vertical cut can be very good. You just have to make sure you get the exact spot. So here, I don't know if you can see, this is the preoperculum right here, this black. And my line was just a little anterior of that, a little forward, where I made the cut. So in this particular species, that's where I wanted to be. Um, every species is going to be a little different. So you're, for the species you're working with, you'll have to judge where, where you want to make your cut. The main thing is, as I say, is just to use your finger to wipe the tissue off and you'll find that that comes off very easily and then it's ready to store.